76-year-old R.L. Lewis is a retired art teacher who still knows how to captivate a classroom. I said, bring in the bounties. Somebody came in there with the little cheap stuff. <laughs> During this class at Grassy Waters Preserve in West Palm Beach, the painting Lewis is creating is expected to be as spectacular as the view outside. Inside, it's standing room only. Because Lewis is not only a popular teacher, he's also one of the Florida highwaymen. How do you become a highwayman? It just happened. The Highwaymen were a group of African-American artists who got their start in the 1950s during segregation in the Deep South. They weren't allowed into the galleries and stores where white artists sold their work, so they set up shop by the side of the road. Guys used to go up and down the highways and byways and sell their wares, their pieces, and the people gravitate to this stuff. Lewis, who grew up in Coco along the Indian River Lagoon, was one of the 26 artists known as Highwaymen, a group that actually included one woman. Eight have passed away. All the artists specialized in paintings that highlight Florida's natural beauty, beauty that surrounded Lewis from childhood to this day. Florida was beautiful, it had a lot of flowers, a lot of trees, and we used to make games on the riverfront, even though we weren't allowed in the parks and recreation. A member of the Florida Artist Hall of Fame, Lewis now owns his own gallery operated by his son. Father and son travel to events like this one, often accompanied by Lewis's wife. And at each stop, they are surrounded by admirers. Two, two, Some of those admirers turn out to be customers, even collectors. And with many highwaymen paintings selling for upwards of $1,000, business is good. I always say if you make history, then you'll make money later on because people that are educated about your history uh, become educated buyers later. Even if they don't buy a painting, those who've been lucky enough to see one of the 18 living highwaymen in action Call it a painting, it's not a picture, it's a painting. seem to know that with every single stroke of the brush, they're seeing just a little bit of history created right before their very eyes. This is Cheryl Kahn reporting for WPB-TV.